All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. As you just saw, we we're making a gasket with a laser. Pretty neat little business my uncle's got there. Always a perk of the family. It literally took no time at all for him just to scan that, outline it, throw it in the computer, and to cut it out first pass. That thing's ready to go. And it is exactly perfect for what I need it for. And that brings me to my next point here. We're doing a little work on my bird here. 2008 5500 G56 man transmission and my buddy down in Texas, Dane, he just got himself a 4500 with a G56 and he recommended this product right here. We brought it up in discussion. He put it on his truck before I got mine and he says it helped out a lot. And what this is, it bolts onto your PTO cover. It not only is a big chunk of billet aluminum that is a heat disperser and absorber from the transmission, but allows you to put an extra quart of transmission fluid in it, and it has the options for uh, an actual transmission cooler on it. And the main thing I think both of us were after was extra coolant and the fact that you can put a uh, temperature sensor in it. It's got a little eighth inch MPT ready to rock and roll. If you're new to my channel, I appreciate you tuning in. The whole idea with my channel is I want to put realistic, real world products on my trucks or my buddy's trucks to test out and see if they actually do what everybody's expecting. And this truck I have a bunch of goodies on. It is, um, this is my 100% tow rig. All I use this truck for is towing. I have other trucks for personal and, uh, you know, work. This thing is rare for it to not have the gooseneck hooked up to it, but I just did some other goodies under it, and hopefully today there's some other stuff showing up in the mail. But I don't want to just be one of those guys just throwing all kinds of stupid parts at the truck and not really saying how they perform. I will go under, show you how to install, and I will do a real-world test on it, go in the trailer, and see actually how well it performs and how much better it is. And the main thing with this, you get your extra quart of fluid in there. That helps with your lubrication, cooling process you got more fluid in there just like a deep dish pan on your automatic so this is just taking the fluid level up it still allows enough room for you know heat expansion to go up and down with the, the temperature changes of the fluid and um, shifting shift is, this thing shifts I shouldn't complain about how well this thing shifts is absolutely awesome but it could always be better and we're gonna find out if this thing will actually help us with that. So we're gonna go ahead and do that transmission stuff and I'll check back. First things first is we gotta drain the transmission fluid and we gotta pop that PTO cover off and then we'll be in the running. I did make a mess. I did spill some expensive royal purple all over the floor, but I did not let the funnel vent enough and it kind of gurgled on me a little bit. you're thinking that is overkill gasket and um, gasket glue well gasket glue on one side just to help me get the get the rig up in there so I don't have to fumble with trying to align it and two better safe than sorry because if that thing starts leaking and I'm towing or driving or anything and I don't know what's leaking that transmission you know 
and hopefully I'm gonna get these nice and tight and I'm gonna have an issue with that but just a little extra precaution I would say be safe about it distance and take the shifter tower off and just fill from the top because I don't have the little pump and I don't want to try and figure that out another way so I'm gonna take the time pull the shifter tower off and fill it to the top all right so here's my game plan I went ahead and took the shifter tower and all that cup holders and stuff off I went ahead and skipped that because I already made a video about it and so did Greg A and everybody else in the world so if you want to see how that's taken apart it's pretty easy a bunch of eight millimeter bolts all over the place and then a uh, 3 eighths, like six point weird little bolt for that, but pretty simple. So my game plan, rather than get a uh, one of those little tiny hand pumps, Dane, I know if you watch this, you can be like, oh, I should've got the pump, but nah. This is what we did. This is a jug for def, and we're gonna see how that works, cause it, I mean, it pumps def into a truck pretty damn good. And then, that's the original seven I just put in there like two weeks ago, and this is my eighth one, so here we go. shifter tower and everything's back on there looks all golden and it is filled full and I do not see any leaks don't mind that that was from earlier that was a mistake my bad and if you're wondering why I reused the same stuff that I pulled out of it I just put that stuff in there like six weeks ago maybe I don't even think I got 800 miles on it at best so there's no way I was going to just waste that royal purple because that, that stuff's not cheap. So, uh, I got to tidy up a couple other things, just like that guy. That's the next video. But, yeah, I just got to tidy that up and clean up this mess and we're going to go for a test drive and see if it really did make um, the difference I'm hoping it did. So, that's where we're at. Here we go. All right, let's see if this transmission upgrade worked. Oh, we got some shit in the way. So before, there's a little trough getting in the first. Huh. Feels all right. Of course, you won't know until you actually do a little something, something. I'm gonna back up and double check everything. Make sure I'm not leaking. Oh, jeez. That right there is where the test is. Like if you're backing up and going forward, backing up and going forward. Switching the gears going forward and reverse all the time. And say you're frustrated because you're in a tight spot. Ooh. Feels alright. So far so good, but go on a little mission here seat belt check before I hop out on this vehicle infested roadway a little smoke well, yeah, well, that's about, about the same there come on to 
corona. Need to trim the bushes back. boys I think the transmission and was a success that feels that's definitely better than it was so that is I'll put a link to description below where I bought that from uh, most of the stuff I just buy through like authorized dealers through eBay yeah uh, for most of the stuff I don't know uh, necessarily the dealer for that PTO cover but it's definitely adding that extra extra court that changed the transmission quite a bit. It's very easy to go into gear, like, yeah, that's definitely a little bit easier. Yeah, so, big perks there. So that is a A-OK. -okay. Sam recommends that, Sam, and, I, Sam approves of that. So, uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. See you next time, and uh, thank you for all the support and all the subscribers. Thank you so much, I appreciate all that. All the awesome compliments and comments that came through, keep them coming. You guys have questions on anything that I'm doing, anything I've added, um, video requests, feel free to throw them out there. I can only think of so much stuff. Uh, I appreciate any input. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. All right, bye.